without calculator let's solve this or let's evaluate this okay now first thing we need to do is to simplify this in terms of 30 so if we do that this is equal to the square root of 30 multiplied by 30 plus 1 multiplied by 32 can be expressed as 30 plus 2 right 30 plus 2 okay multiplied by 30 plus 3 plus 1 okay as easy as that now this is equal to because we have 30 30 30 let's just simplify it further and say let 30 be equal to x so we say let x be equal to 30 so anywhere we see 30 now we substitute our x so we have this to be equal to the square root of x multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 plus 1 okay now let me bring this to this side and then cheat the other ones you are going to see why soon so we have the square root of x multiplied by let's bring this first x plus 3 then multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2 plus 1 okay now let's expand okay so this will be equal to the square root of x times x is x squared plus x times 3 is 3x three all right now multiplied by x times x is x squared x times 2 we give us plus 2x 1 times x is plus x and 1 times 2 is plus 2 all right then plus 1 i don't know if you can see this clearly but this is what we have here which i believe you can see so this is equal to the square roots of when you look at this we can further simplify this one so we have x squared plus 3x all right then bracket we have x squared plus 2x plus x we give us 3x again plus this 2 all right plus 1 now can you see something if this is the first time you are seeing us click the subscription button and turn your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos we upload our videos daily so always tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video thank you very much now back to what we are doing this is equal to i noticed that we have x squared plus 3x here x squared plus 3x so we can say let x squared plus 3x be equal to y okay so if we say that that means we have square root of y multiplied by y plus 2 right then plus 1 okay now it's time for us to expand the bracket yes so we have this to be square root of y times y is y squared y times plus 2 is plus 2y then plus 1 okay yeah now recall that when you have a squared plus b squared that is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared now let us express this let us expand this if we do that we are going to have the square root of let me continue from here i don't want to write it where you cannot see it clearly okay so if we expand this this will be square roots of y squared right plus 2 multiplied by y multiplied by 1 plus 1 squared okay so if we compare this to this that means our a is y and our b is 1 right sorry this is a plus b squared oh god this is a plus b squared not a squared plus b squared sorry so this is a plus b squared now that means that our a is y and our b is 1 so this is equal to the square root of y plus 1 squared okay y plus 1 squared now square root of a square is equal to what this we cancel out each other so this we cancel this we have this to be what y plus 1 all right yes we end up having this as y plus 1 but recall oh i've cleaned that okay not yet recall that our y is x squared plus 3x yeah so we are going to substitute that here so this is equal to x squared plus 3x 
plus 1. I'm substituting y as x squared plus 3x plus 1. Now, I want us to recall again. Recall again. We have said let our x be equal to 30. I don't know if you still remember. We expressed this as 30 plus 1, 30 plus 2, 30 plus 3. I was starting to call 30x, okay? So, recall, recall that x is equal to 30. So, that means that x squared plus 3x plus 1 should be equal to 30 squared plus 3 bracket 30 plus 1. So this is equal to 30 multiplied by 30 plus 3 multiplied by 30 plus 1. Now 30 times 30 is same thing as 300 times 3 which is 900. So we have 900 plus 3 times 30 is 90. We have 90 plus 1. Now, this is equal to 900 plus 91, which is equal to 991. As easy as that, without a calculator. I wish to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.